Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the power of thinking. Now, creative thinking is one of the things that for a very long time people have missed. Why? Because we are living in a society where everything else goes very fast. Since, you know, you wake up in the morning, you've got the whole schedule of the day just in front of you. So we literally wake up running. We don't have time to slow down and think. Think about what are we going to do. Think about the whole programs that you're going to be running. Think about your day. Think about the people you're going to meet. What are you going to say? Now, if we will slow down just a little bit and focus our mind into thinking, and when I say thinking, I mean creative thinking. The ancient scripture call it going to the closet. Other people say going back to the balcony of your mind. Detach yourself and look at your life, look at your day, look at your month, look at your year from an outside perspective and start to think. Now this is what is going to happen when you start thinking. You release a creative genius which is in you. This is what has happened to me so many times. I'll be bogged down with a problem. And you tend to think that I tend to think that it is next to impossible to solve this problem. But when I start thinking, slow down, take my pen and paper, turn off my cell phone, switch off my telephone and just be by myself and start thinking about the, this particular problem. This is what happens. All of a sudden, you release the part of the brain that is a problem solver. You start getting ideas. You get in tune to yourself. You start getting alternatives, options. And I like to journal. This is what I suggest to everybody. Make sure at every particular time you have a journal with you. Write down, because sometimes ideas come and we don't have a time to capture those ideas. At the end of the day, you start thinking, what was I thinking again? I had a great idea. I lost my thought. Now, this is what I do. All the time, everywhere, even besides my bed, I have a journal. When an idea comes, I write it down. When I'm in a time of thinking, especially creative thinking, problem solving, I write down all ideas. Some ideas, of course, are bogus. Some ideas are very creative. Some ideas are not for today. Some ideas are for tomorrow. Who knows? Some ideas are not for you. Some ideas are for somebody else, but write them down. Learn to catch your ideas. Once you learn to catch your ideas, it's a skill. And I've seen in so many organizations that I've worked, people don't have time to think. People just stop without thinking or at the time when they're supposed to be giving ideas, that's when they think. Why don't you develop a habit of thinking through before. Before you start your day, think through. Before you go to a business deal, think about it. Before you invest your money about, you know, in anything you want to invest, spend time, spend half an hour just thinking, doing nothing but thinking. And it is an art that you need to develop because many times your mind will start wandering. You start thinking about that, you start thinking about that, and this person comes and that person calls, a text comes in. We have to develop an art of catching our mind, being laser focused. And you will see the difference. I promised you will see the difference. In my life, great things have happened because I slowed down and I started thinking. And that's when the power of creativity was unleashed into my life. And some of the ideas, I carried them through, perpetuated them. 
and they resulted into big products. Thank you very much for listening. If you have any questions, don't forget to sign down there. This is again Dr. Lucas, The Power of Creative Thinking. Thank you. Thank you.